Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm basically going to be doing a productive study vlog, as you guys can see by the title. And I'm just really excited to film this video because I want to give you guys motivation. I want to give you guys advice. So towards the end of this video, I will be doing like a little advice session where I give you guys some advice just about like revision, school, studying, all that type of stuff. You guys haven't like asked me any questions, like I didn't put anything up on my community tab, but I'm just going to be giving you guys some tips and advice from me that have helped me personally. Obviously, I'm not like a genius or a professional. This is just what I've been doing that helps me. Before we start, I am gonna give you guys a bit of background information about GCSEs and mocks and that type of stuff because I know that not all of you guys are from the UK and will like understand the concept of that. GCSEs are basically a set of exams for different subjects that you do and you get a grade for them and they will help you in the future with your careers and stuff like that because people will often look at the subjects and how well you've done in them to determine if you can do that certain job so that's why GCSEs are very important they kind of set the tone for your whole life if you think about it and for your GCSEs you do mocks which is what I'm doing right now and they are basically practice exams that kind of give you a feel of what the real GCSE is going to be like I'm pretty sure you do like three mock exams so you do one in year 10 and then two more in year 11 before your real GCSEs today is Sunday the 22nd of April and my mocks start on Monday so obviously I don't have a lot of time but I have been revising on and off for the past like month so I do feel quite prepared the mocks I'm going to be doing in this mock are English literature maths physics, chemistry, biology, history, and religious studies. Even though I also take child development, there is no mock for that for in year 10 at least, because in year 10, all you have to do for that is coursework, which is just like research task on like Google Drive and stuff. Today, I won't be revising all of those subjects, but I am going to be doing English literature, maths, history, and chemistry. It is getting very, very real to me because of the fact that my mocks are literally in like two days, but I think I can get through it and I am definitely very excited for this whole week to just be over but yeah i'll put up a picture of like my mock exam timetable for the whole of next week and i have two exams on monday two on tuesday i don't think i have any on wednesday and then two on thursday and one on friday but yeah make sure you subscribe and like and comment any like video ideas that you guys want to see from me because i know you guys said you did want to see more vlogs and advice videos so i'm kind of putting both of those into one for this video but let me know any like extra video ideas that you have for me and definitely turn on your notification bell because i have planned a lot of fun content for you guys and let's get started so the first thing that we are going to be revising in this video is english literature and along the way i am going to give you guys like the names of websites and different textbooks and stuff that i use to revise today specifically i'm going to be revising my poetry anthology because we have to revise some poems which are based off of power and conflict and there are 15 poems which is quite a lot to remember but i've chosen a couple that i want to remember some quotes and analysis for so i'm just going to do a montage of me doing that <laughs> Now I'm going to do maths and for maths I basically have a like topic list where I write down like subjects that I, well not subjects but like topics in maths that I feel like I need to do better in. So for those 
a particular topic so what i'm gonna do is do like practice questions and if i really don't know the topic then i will watch youtube videos so yeah if i really don't know a topic i will use youtube but then for my practice questions i mainly use a website called gcse maths questions which is a kind of underrated website but it's really good it has every type of question that you can need for any type of topic and sometimes i also use a website called maths genie which is pretty good so yeah i'll just do the practice questions in my notebook and mark it once i have the answers she seen money for the real me Okay, so I have now done maths and I did a couple of topics and I do still have some topics left but my exam isn't until Thursday so I still do have time and I can do the remaining topics on either Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday so I'll be fine. But I did product of prime factors and then I did recurring decimals to fractions and then simple interest and percentage change. So right now I'm going to do history and I don't really know how to revise history. I'm not really the best at revising history. I kind of just try to remember the content. But I think for history I'm going to do some Seneca and then probably plan out some like exam questions. I don't think I'll actually write the exam questions because they are all like really long and can be up to like 16 marks. So I'm not going to do that but I will plan them out and i think we will go and sit in my bed for this because i want to be cozy Hey guys, so it is getting darker out, which is why my room is a bit darker. But I've just done some history work and I basically did some Seneca and then I planned a past paper GCSE question. To finish off my studying, I'm just going to do a chemistry... No, I'm going to do some chemistry Seneca. Just some quick revision of some past topics. So yeah, and then I'll give you guys some tips about studying and all that stuff that I said that I would do at the start of the video. But yeah, it's currently 7.46, so I'm probably going to revise chemistry for like 15, 20 minutes. So I'm not going to do too much because I am going to do chemistry again tomorrow because that is my first exam that I have on the Monday. <laughs> Hey guys, so this is the portion of the video where I'm going to give you guys some tips about like revision and school and that type of stuff. It's not going to be that long, it's just going to be like a couple tips, like three, four, five tips that you guys can use for like motivation to study and things like that. So the first one is actually a tip that my physics teacher gave our class and he said when you do a revision, do it little and often, which means like when you do a revision, only do a little bit of it, so maybe for like 20 30 minutes and do that as often as you can you can't just say like oh i want to do six hours of revision today because that is just not realistic at all and since that is so unrealistic you're not going to end up getting it done and you're going to beat yourself up about it if you don't get it done and you're going to feel unproductive unmotivated and just like get into a rut and i kind of used to have that mindset too of thinking like oh, i have to do so many hours of revision just to do well but what I've been doing recently is I just do a topic for like half an hour and then move on to the next one. And doing that a lot has really helped me, especially with like time management and stuff. Because a lot of you guys always ask me like how I can balance school and everything that I do. And that is definitely one of the ways that has helped me. Another tip is to don't get like annoyed at yourself if you get a bad grade because it's gonna happen to everyone eventually and like i know it must feel very annoying especially if you have revised for that test just have a positive mindset about it and tell yourself that that's 
like a chance for you to improve basically because like obviously not everyone's going to do well on their test there's going to be a time where you have to fail so if you think about it failing actually makes you better because it helps you like focus on what you need to work on and my last tip would be to just romanticize studying so like use some pretty highlighters set up a pretty desk space light a candle play your favorite playlist maybe like put on your pretty lights in your room those kind of things can just make it seem more positive rather than just like picking up your notebook and like I don't know just doing it in a space that doesn't feel like all nice and pretty i don't know if it's just me but when i am doing my revision in a space that's like really nice organized and looks good then it makes me feel better about it and it's a bit more motivating than doing your revision in like a boring setting but yeah those are all my tips for you guys like i said very quick little tips that you can use for revision and studying and school i hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know what kind of videos you would like to see from me in the future good luck if we're doing your year 10 mocks or your gcse's have a great rest of your day and i will see you guys in the next video bye Say something, baby. I'm gonna need you to say something, baby.